That's why I want I wanted the first Miss Universe to be here in Naive. And to be first uh, franchise sa Cavite. Yes. So, wala pang Cavite. Wala pa. But, but yeah. soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Ayun. So, marami tayong exciting events. So, for this year, we're starting with Miss Universe Philippines Naik. And then we still have Reina ng Turismo Cavite this coming June for Pride Month. We're gonna have um, the first ever um, Cavite Fashion Congress. Wow! Yes, so I am gathering all of the fashion designers from Cavite um, to work with me so we can also work with local weavers and we're gonna have a beautiful fashion show in September. Um, and then after that, we'll also have Miss Universe Philippines Cavite. Wow! And under your leadership. Yes. Also, uh, yes. Olga. Why, ano, separate pa yung Naik sa Cavite? Uh, two Because I want Naik to shine. shine. I want Naik to shine. Because I'm from Naik. So, syempre, special sila to me. But I also love Cavite. So, if I can have both, if I can send two beautiful young girls, mm -hmm. then why not? Diba? Why does it have to be one if I can send two? Sino po nag-push for the Miss Universe franchise? Well, actually, what happened? Um, they approached me. They actually approached me. When did they approach me? After... After Reina ng Turismo. It was after Reina ng Turismo that they approached me and I... Ah, we were invited by BBM and our first lady to go to Malacanang during, the, during Pride Month. Celebrating our LGBT community. That's when I met um, the Miss Universe uh, organization. Yes, organization. And then they approached me for Cavite. And I thought about it for many months because I didn't want to enter without being fully committed. So when I knew I could fully commit, go. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm starting with Naik. And then once we do Miss Universe Philippines Cavite, which will be in 2025, January. 2025? Yes, it will be here in Naik. Also in Naik. Yes. So by 2025, two pageants? Yes. And yes. separate, separate, separate. Separate, separate yes. Separate um, by 2025, it will be one big pageant for Miss Universe Philippines Cavite. Um, we'll do a separate screening for Naik. But then we're going to send two girls. To the national budget. So one na ik, one kapite. Alright, so what made you decide na accept ng ino for sign? Because uh, Miss Universe is changing. It's not it's more diverse now. Women can be bigger, they can be smaller, you know, they can be married. So that's attractive to me because I started with Reina ng Turismo. The reason why I created Reina ng Turismo was to promote our diversity, right? As people, as humans. So the fact that Miss Universe is like that um, was appealing and I thought we have so much talent here in Cavite that I would like to promote. And it's not just here through pageantry, it's also the artists, the local um, business owners, our coffee makers, you know, um, there are many um, sectors and industries that I am currently, you know, kind of igniting to, to be more active with me. To, to promote Cavite because it shouldn't stop just with pageantry. It should keep going. We have to keep going, we have to keep moving, we have to keep um, inspiring the younger generation. So if I don't do anything, right, then nothing's gonna happen. So I'm just moving, moving, you know, trying to be as active as possible so that young women also can see that they can be like me. They can be very active and influence people in a very good way. And I think Miss Universe, because it's not... I used to be against pageants before. I used to think it was um, restricting and, it, and um, chauvinistic. And I thought women were being treated like objects. But nowadays, it's, it's different. You know, they can have a voice and they can show themselves, be proud, even if they don't have the measurements that were the standard back in the day. So now... We're more empowering. empowering, yes. We're empowering any form, you know, even if it's not the standard beauty. You could be however you are, but if you're a woman of character, of substance, then why can't you show yourself and be part of a pageant? So that's what I was telling them here. Of course, it's not 
we're trying to open it, open that idea and invite younger girls that not to be shy, not to be scared because they don't have to be um, the standard six footer na sobrang payat. You know, as long as they have an advocacy, they care about something, they want to be heard, they have an advocacy that they want to share, then join there. So I'm just not limiting um, ourselves to anything. Uh, Miss Jacinta, congratulations uh, for the successful um, media or uh, presentation and sashing of your candidates. So my question is, did you also apply um, uh, the new rules of uh, the, new, the Miss Universe organization, which is they accept um, a married woman? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So yes. you have a candidate? We don't have a, yeah. an applicant that's married, right? Yeah, so wala pang nag nag-try o naglakas loob to join this this first one. There's there's single mom, one single mom. One is a single mom, yeah, yeah. yes. How about for the transgender? I want to open that, of course I want to open that, but in the Philippines, because it's not yet, you know... Fully recognized. Yes, fully recognized. We have a separate pageant. That's why we have a separate pageant for that. I wanted it to be one, honestly. That's less less cost for me but <laughs> but I can't you know so I don't make the rules but I'm I'm happy that there are new rules and we're participating with that we're cooperating because um, it's forward thinking and we like that so as long as um, they haven't allowed us to bring transgenders in uh, we won't but once they do we will and you know I'll be happy to have all kinds of genders join so as a regional director of Mrs. of Miss Universe Philippines, Nai, what are you looking for in a winner? I'm just a woman of substance and a woman of character. Somebody strong, someone. Kasi ang kavitenyo matapang, de ba? So kailangan malakas yung loob niya, malakas yung dating niya, at may pakaelam talaga siya sa sa advocacy niya, like legit. You know, I wanted to be an actual person who does what she says she does. It's not just, oh, I need to think about an advocacy and then I'm gonna say that. It actually has to be someone who who lives it, who lives her advocacy, who believes in her advocacy. You know. So what can we expect the finals, ma? Bonga! <laughs> Pasabog naman! Of course, of course, of course. It's always gonna be... A beautiful spectacle for. And of course, Miss Shamsi will also attend. Yes, and, of course. And Beatrice do we? Yes. And Sampanilio. Wow. Yes. So, yes. So we have those three queens, and we're very proud because Sampanilio is from Cavite, and she'll be with us. Um, they'll be here, yes, for the contract signing also on January 21. Our Reina ng Turismo Queens will be involved for the pre-pageant mm -hmm. also. So, you know, we're just trying to create a community of love, diversity, support for one another. And to show the younger generation not to be afraid of who they are. That they, don't, they can just be who they are and show everyone and it doesn't matter because we're all human. We all just have to be kind and um, care about other things other than ourselves, diba? Yun lang, outward thinking. That's what I, I want to promote also. That there's so much more to life than just thinking inward and just about ourselves. There's so many um, causes that we can join, advocacies that we can promote, and so many ways that we can help our fellow Filipinos. There. Ma ano yung ano, uh, message or uh, advice. Advice. advice ni Shamsi for Handing Miss Universe Philippines now. She hasn't given me advice yet, actually. So we're we're um, treading unfamiliar waters right now, you know. So this is our first ever. Um, I am experiencing it for the first time. Obviously, my my very first experience in pageantry was through Reina ng Turismo Cavite. So that was madugo, kasi de ba LGBT community. I had to get so the support of the mayors, and it was the whole Cavite. So this is actually a little bit smaller, but there's gonna be more focus on each candidate. Um, but it'll be a beautiful, crisp um, show. Um, and we'll just make it as fun and entertaining um, as possible. I, I think, I'm actually excited to meet Miss Shamsi because I think I can learn a lot from her. Um,
because it's my first time being a franchise owner, accredited partner. Um, I think I'm going to learn a lot from this first pageant for Miss Universe. And I'm just excited because it's naik. It really means a lot to me because my, my ancestors are from here, from my Lola's side, and my Lola's my best friend. I live in her ancestral house now. I restored it. So, um, it, everything is meaningful. That's why I, I'm proud. I'm a proud like Kenya. I'm proud to represent and I'm, pr I'm proud to find girls that are willing to represent Naik as well. Um, and to be future leaders of uh, the younger generation. Mom, isa sa inaabangan sa pageant is your crown. Meron na po ba tayong crown maker? I believe he's also from Cavite. Yes, meron na tayong crown maker. But it will be a surprise. Of okay. course, we'll reveal it during the coronation night. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, Mama, aside from uh, winning the crown, what are the uh, perks of the winner? Well, first of all, they get to represent Naik. They get to represent Cavite. Um, we've never had um, this kind of pageant before. Parang it was always appointed in the past. So um, I think that exposure is really, really beneficial for, for the candidates, also for their advocacies. Um, and we'll be supporting them. Uh, the winner uh, will be supporting the winner when she joins the national pageant. Everything, all the trainings, um, all the self-development trainings, all the rampa trainings, the pasarela, question and answer, her outfits, will be um, supporting her 100%. Will, we, will she also um, wearing um, Caviteño design? Yes, yes. Or creations? So that's, that's my goal for this year, is that for every... Pad Actually, yes, Albanzon, who is a Naikeño, he was here earlier. He designed the swimsuit, he, will, he designed the production number outfit, and the long gown for the coronation night. So we got a local na Ikenyo designer um, to be their um, designer for Miss Universe Naik. So we're really excited about that because we want to activate that community also. That's why I told you about the Cavite Fashion Congress. So moving forward for Reina ng Turismo Cavite, we'll also be using all of those designers from Fashion Designers Circle Cavite. They're called FDCC. So this group of um, designers will be in charge of um, dressing our Reina ng Turismo Queens for their long gowns and also for Miss Universe Philippines Cavite. And then we'll have a big fashion show in September. So I hope you can be there with us. Sure. Uh, September, September. 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 Yes, so we're launching Cavite Fashion Congress because it's um, we're launching it with a fashion show. But the main goal, the big picture is actually to um, basically pair designers with weavers because our weaving community is dying. So we want to um, attract the younger generation to keep the tradition alive. So we have to start with a fashion show so they can see that it's possible. And we have to teach them how. It's going to be a mentorship program with um, Joji Luren. He was a judge in um, Reina na Turismo Cavite. He's a well-known fashion designer in Manila. And he actually works already with local weavers from Indang. So he can show the designers here in Cavite how he does it. And basically, we're going to create our own identity uh, create our own identity as Cavite designers and unite all of them. Alright, so for the winners of uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Universe Nike, what are the main duties and responsibilities in the organization? Well, it's gonna be, you know, representing Cavite well. I, I just wanna make sure that they're trained well, first of all, so that when they represent, they know who they are, they know what they stand for. Um, the main duties are basically what, what, what do they do, right? It's the promotion of where they come from, the promotion of being a Filipina, it's the promotion of their advocacy, um, and anything else that we can do creatively, partner with um, different organizations, brands that um, are also in line with what we want to promote, then we'll do that. You know, nothing is set in stone. We just want to find someone that can represent the Cavitenios well and the Ikenios. Ma'am, how do you see your the MUPH NAI in five years? What is your long-term goal for this project? I, I want 
the women to join. I want those women to join to be diverse. I want them. I want to see different kinds of women, not just pageant girls. You know who've already done it. I want to see moms, wives, different kinds of women that are really fighting for something, that really care about something. Um, obviously, we're just starting, you know, it's all in the, the landscape, the pageantry landscape is kind of still the same, but we want to see some change. You know, obviously, it's nice to see somebody uh, with the beauty standard that we're used to, but it's also refreshing to see someone that cares about something that we could all learn from also, um, to open our eyes to bigger things other than just beauty and the physical. So hopefully in five years, you know, a good mix of different kinds of women and genders. A message to all the candidates. So to all the Miss Universe Philippines candidates, girls, you got this. I support you 100%. Let's represent our beautiful hometown, Naik, with all the best that we have. I know that your beauty and your brains and everything that you're fighting for, all your advocacies, will shine through on coronation, coronation night and we will be making it the most beautiful spectacle you've ever seen in Naik. So I invite all our viewers also, all of the supporters of Miss Universe Philippines to support the very first ever Miss Universe Philippines, Naik. So. Oh, and also your social media. Oh yeah, please follow our official social media page, Miss Universe Philippines Naik. What is the final? January 21. I know, um, the, the, the free final. pageant final. is January 19, 19 in Torres Farm. And then the final. finals, January 21, 21. Naik Town Plaza. Yes. Good luck! I know! Good luck. Thank, you. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, thank and you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.